let us discuss this concept metric spaces let us try to understand what is meaning of metric metric is nothing but distance and we denote it by d as you can see here basically we need to have some non empty set x okay and we define d on x cross x d is a distance obviously but it is a function from x cross x to r which satisfy four properties that means if this distance d this function d satisfy those four properties then we declare it is a metric on x so let us discuss which are those four properties those four properties we are already familiar with that Th these are nothing but the properties satisfied by the distance any distance okay so the first property let us discuss the first property is distance cannot be negative getting so if you take any two points that if you count the distance between them it cannot be negative or if you consider any two cities mumbai and delhi if you find the distance mumbai and kolkata if you find the distance it cannot be negative getting so this is the first property of d that is distance cannot be negative that means distance between any two points is greater than or equal to 0 for all x y belongs to x x is a given set okay so this is the first property of a d let us discuss second property second property is also obvious distance between two points is 0 if and only if these two points are same okay so let me write that thing so the second property is d of x y is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to y if and only if is there that means if distance between two points is zero these two points are same or in a reverse way we can say if two points are same distance between these two points is zero let us discuss the third property third property is also obvious if you consider any two cities suppose mumbai and here we have a goa getting so i have considered two cities distance of mumbai from goa is same as distance of Goa from Mumbai getting so that means if you consider in a reverse way then also distance will be same so our third property tries to say the same thing that means distance between x and y is same as distance between y and x and this is true for all x y belongs to x and now the last property so the last property is a special so we call it as a triangle inequality consider any three points okay i'm showing here suppose we have point x we have point y and we have point z here obviously distance between x and z let me write here distance between x and z is less than or equal to if you find the distance between x and y and if you add with distance between y and z okay so less than or equal to distance between x and y plus distance between y and z for all x y belongs to sorry x y z belongs to x getting so the direct distance between x and z is obviously less than or equal to distance between x y plus distance between y z so when i explain this thing you can easily see one triangle is formed so that's why we call it as a triangle inequality i have mentioned equality is also there less than or equal to so can you tell me when equality will get when that point la y lies on line xz then we will have exactly equal getting left hand side is equal to right hand side that means i can show here suppose your point point y is here then distance between xz is same as distance between xy plus distance between yz so this is called triangle inequality okay so if any d satisfies all these four properties then we declare d is a metric on x or in other way we can say so therefore we can say xd is a metric space xd is a metric space the same thing we can write in that way also so this is definition of metric space okay make a screenshot of it after that we will stop thank you bye bye